everyone is turned against Islam. Everything, Islam is almost as if it doesn't exist and it has to be re-established again. And there will come forward a people who will re-establish the deen from almost nothing. But they will not have revelation descending upon them, teaching them and guiding them every step. They will not have a prophet to run to and say, Ya Rasulullah, what do we do? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They will be doing it based on what is left, the Qur'an and the Sunnah. So these people's reward has been increased by Allah. Wallahi, we live in these times. Because you can go even to the most populated Muslim country you want. And I've been to most of them. And you will find that people who live a life to please Allah, who live a life following the Qur'an, who live a life following the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, they are the weirdest people on the planet. No matter where you go. No matter where you go. You can even stand around the Haram in Mecca and still find yourself out of place when you follow this path of following the Quran and Sunnah. But for our sisters, for our sisters who are, mashallah, the backbone of this Ummah, who are the backbone of this Ummah, you've been given a special place, a very special place, and you cannot forget it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose especially to give you statuses higher above anything that had ever been given to anyone else. Men were already men. We already did what we do and we run around chauvinistic and we have all of that. And Allah just calmed it down a little bit in the Quran. But women were treated as if they were property. Women were bought and sold. Women were buried in the sand out of disgust. And Allah Azza wa Jal raised them to a position of honor and dignity. There's an entire chapter in the Quran named after you. I didn't read the chapter known as Surah Al-Rijal yet. It doesn't exist. But there is a Surah Al-Nisa. One of the greatest, greatest feats that Allah Azawajal gave to a woman is that she gives birth to the next generation of humanity. Without you, there is no us. And Allah Azawajal proved through Isa alayhi salam that he doesn't need us to make another one of us. So it puts us in our place a little bit. But sisters, not only are you more than half of this ummah, more than half, you will become more than two-thirds. But you are responsible for the other half. You raise the rest. So you have a very dignified and prominent role. You have a very dignified and prominent role.